Hello, I am grateful that you came across on this video. In this video, I am going to discuss the overview of economics and its basic concepts. What is economics? You might be thinking that economics is anything about money. No, it's not. Economics is everything. Economics is your mother buying pizza from the store. Economics is you deciding which course to take in college. Economics is the government trying to address the problem brought about by this COVID-19 pandemic. Economics is you watching this video. Understanding economics can change the way you think and solve problems. Everything that we do is economics which involves choices. Watching this video prevents you from watching any other videos in YouTube. We have a term in economics called opportunity costs. The opportunity costs of watching this video is the video that you are not watching. Opportunity costs is the value of the next best alternative or it is the value of the choices that you have given up. You are watching this video means that you give up the opportunity to watch other videos. Or you are studying the lesson means that you sacrificed the chance to watch television. Another example, your mother bought a layer of pizza at 100 pesos means that she gave up the chance that she could have earned in interest if she deposited the same amount in the bank. Again, opportunity costs. Another idea that we need to understand about economics is the idea that resources are scarce or resources are limited. Resources or factors of production such as land, labor, and capital as well as entrepreneurial skills are limited. For example, in a piece of land where the building is constructed, you cannot plant rice on it. You cannot wash your clothes and sleep at the same time. Because resources are scarce, we have to make a choice or decision. And in making a decision, there are things that we need to give up. In economics, we often hear the term optimization or maximization. Because resources are limited, we have to choose the best alternative. Kumbaga, we have to choose the best decision that satisfies our wants or desires. Take note that we humans have unlimited wants or desires. Do you agree with me? Human wants are unlimited but resources are limited. So, that's the reason why we have the problem called scarcity. Actually, we do not need to economize if there was no scarcity. Scarcity means that goods available are too few to satisfy individuals' desires. Scarcity teaches us to make a choice and in making a choice, May kaakibat na sacrifices or opportunity costs. Economists use models to describe economic activities. Models are simple frameworks in understanding an economic phenomenon. They provide aid in understanding complex economic behavior. In economics, models can be in the form of a graph or Equation. Economic models have the following features. The Citeris Paribus assumption, optimization assumption, and the distinction between positive and normative analysis. We will be discussing each of these features. The Citeris Paribus assumption. Citeris paribus is a Latin phrase which means other things the same. Economic models attempt to explain simple relationships. 
they focus on the effects of only a few forces at a time. Sitter's paribus means that other factors are assumed to be unchanged during the period of study. Ano ibig sabihin nito? For example, gusto nating malaman kung gaano katagal mahuhulog yung apple mula sa puno papunta sa baba. So, yung concern natin ay yung time. Of course, there are many factors that can affect time. We have the distance from the tree to the ground, the wind, the environment, kung wala bang nakaharang, and the likes. Kumbaga, ang model natin sa situation ay time is a function of distance, wind, environment, etc. To calculate time, we need to assume that the situation happens in a vacuum. Ibig sabihin, walang hangin, walang sagabal. In short, we consider only the distance from the tree to the ground and isolate the effect of wind or environment to know the answer. Kasi, magiging complicated na siya kung merong hangin at madaming sagabal sa paligid. Can you follow? The next feature is the optimization assumptions. When drawing economics, we usually assume that people behave rationally. By rational, we mean something like people tend to choose the correct means to achieve their goals. But why do we assume something that we know to be false? The answer is because it's a useful lie. Yes, economists will tend to use simplifying assumptions which are useful lies to make the world comprehensible. We use these assumptions to build models which are framework in trying to understand a part of the world. Because without these assumptions, the world is too complicated to understand. In the economy, there are three participants. We have consumers, firms, and the government. And each of these participants are making rational choices by trying to maximize or optimize their incentives. And the last feature is the distinction between positive and normative analysis. Positive analysis just states the facts and what is going to happen. It answers the question, what is or what will be? For example, there is a sudden surge in the number of positive cases in the COVID-19 recently. So more or less, positive analysis is descriptive in nature. While normative analysis focuses on what should be done, or it answers the question, what ought to be? Example of normative analysis is, the government should restrict the travel of residents from outside the country, or the government should prioritize the elderly in the vaccination against the COVID-19. So, normative analysis is prescriptive in nature. From the features of economic models discussed above, the following are the, the following are examples of economic models. We have the PPF or the Production Possibility Frontier, and the second one, the Circular Flow Diagram. We will be discussing each of these models in the future video. Thank you for watching.